Hi, today we're going to be talking about Joomla User Basics, adding articles to your Joomla website. For more information about what Joomla is, see one of our other videos. Today we're going to be talking about adding articles, and this is from the user perspective, and is meant to be a helpful tool for administrators trying to explain Joomla to their users. Joomla consists of two parts, the front, the site that, we, that all users see, and the administration aspect that you'll see and use to add articles to your website. Today I'm going to be logging in as an article manager and his name is Fruit. That's what he's going to be updating subject on. When you log into the back end you may see different items available here and different menus available to you but as a user you may have your access restricted to just things like media manager and being able to add articles. Today, we're just interested in adding our article. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go over some of the features, but since we are a fruit manager for this blog or for this website, we're going to be adding an article on oranges. Now, I just happened to have already added or already made my text for this article in another editor and I'm going to copy that text from somewhere else. Now you can do this too. If you'd like to go ahead and write your article offline using something like Notepad or in this case Notepad++ or even Microsoft Word, you can absolutely do that. And then all you have to do is select and copy your text, come over to the editor in Joomla, and paste your content. Now my content's not quite complete. I want to add a picture. So I'm going to click my cursor up here so that my image appears at the top. And then I'm going to click the image button here at the bottom. Hmm, no pictures of oranges. So I need to add something from my computer. So down here where it says upload files, I'm going to click the browse button. Oh, and look, there's an orange picture. That's the one that I want to use. But I think if we'll check, it's a little bit large. Yep, 1,024 pixels wide by 768. That's about the size of your average screen. I don't want a picture of an orange that's bigger than our website. So I'm going to size it down using the Windows XP Image Resizer tool that I talked about in another video. I already got it installed, so all I have to do is click Resize Pictures, Custom, and then I'll go with 200 by 200. That's about as big as I want to use. Oh, and it made a copy for me. There we go. I'm going to open that and I'm going to click start upload to put it up to my website. Now there's my picture and I want to define it. I think that's a, I think that's a navel orange. So I'm going to give it a title down here. I could be wrong. Don't hold it against me. And I do want it to show up as a caption. So I'm going to change caption from yes to no. That way navel orange will appear below the image of the orange. And I want it to show on the right hand side of the screen. Um, so I'm going to click right here and that'll make the image appear over here on the right. And then click insert. Oh cool. See how my image is aligned to the right hand side of the screen? And If we scroll down we see that our text just kind of goes around it. Now there's a few more options we need to look at. In this case, I know that I want this to be a front page article. So here it says featured. I'm gonna change featured to yes. Now in most websites, featured means front page, but it can mean on other pages. So don't assume that featured is gonna put it on the front page without talking to your administrator. But in most cases, this is what it'll do. And also find out if your article is supposed to appear on the front page. And on the right hand side, we have our publishing options. These are things like being able to change the user that is assigned this article. In other words, you could upload it and then give the rights to the article to another user if you needed to. There's also an option here to change the created by alias. And this is an alias. So I could say this is uh, Super Dan. And the author would show up as Super Dan. But I'm not Super Dan, so I'm not going to use that. We also have the created date, the start publishing date. So if you didn't want this appear to appear till next week, and likewise the finish publishing date. 
This is very important if your article is date dependent or is going to lose relevance after a while. So for example, if your article was all about oranges um, by August the 5th, um, then you may want to make the article go away on August the 6th because it's no longer relative after that date. All you have to do is click the calendar and choose your date. But in this case, I'm going to let mine go. So I have a front page article. I haven't changed the author name. I'm going to put in an alias here. This is only useful if uh, you really run into a problem, but I'm going to put it in there just for safety's sake. And we're going to save and close. Now if we go back to our front page, to the site that all the users see, and we hit refresh, there's our article on oranges. One more topic that we might want to cover, this is a very long article for the front page. And if we look down at some of these others, you see this little icon that says read more and it lets you click through to the longer version of that same article. Well, we can do that with our article as well. So let's go back and let's find our article. These are in alphabetical order. So I'm going to go over here to page two and I think I'll find oranges. Yep. And here after the first paragraph of text, I'm going to click and put in a page break. Excuse me. I'm going to click on read more. And that's going to insert the read more link into our front page article. I'm going to click save and close. That easy. Don't have to do anything else. Go back to our home page. Refresh. And now we have the first paragraph of our text, our orange picture, and the option to read more so we don't take up the whole front page handy if you have very long articles and that's it talk to your administrator if you have questions about uh, style or your rights to put images uh, or put articles onto the featured section but other than that you've now learned how to add text to an article title it and the publishing options thank you for watching